Hello everyone, uh, good evening and welcome back once again. This is a small announcement on the new Azure batch which I'm planning to start from 16th of September and the timing is morning 6.30 to 8 o'clock IST. So let me quickly share the details for the same. I'll go to my blog here, uh, new blog, cloudtechtrainings.com and you can see the upcoming batches over here. So Azure is going to start as I mentioned, 16th September morning 6.30 IST. You can register by sharing your details here so I can get back to you if you have any questions related to the uh, training program and the modules that are covered of and also the uh, career planning and when you are switching from uh, non uh, cloud background to cloud background or cloud profile I would say so that I can help you out. Let me quickly share the details for the same so let me go to the course content so in this training basically we're planning to cover off the administration as well as the azure devops side of the day-to-day -day operations so we majorly focus on in terms of day-to-day -day operations what are the things that you will perform if you join like an azure administrator or a cloud administrator or an azure devops engineer right so we'll start off with the cloud basics and then we'll spend some time on the networking. You can check the detailed topics, what all the topics that we're going to cover in the, in the networking. Also, within the networking, you have a network security or a network security groups, I would say, right? So that we will uh, discuss and test, then we'll come to a security firewall. Then we will jump on to virtual machine section. What all the day-to-day -day operation that you'll perform and it comes to managing your Azure virtual machines that we will uh, focus here. Then we will talk about Azure storage. So within the virtual machine, you'll have a storage that is different. And then the story that we're going to talk about here is totally different. So there we'll spend some time in day-to-day -day operations. What what sort of uh, storage accounts and file shares and stuff that you will utilize and use it in your day-to-day -day activities that, that we will test here. Then we'll talk about uh, the backup and recovery and disaster recovery within the Azure. You're running some application or some website, some you're running some business within the Azure. So how you will protect the data and how you will plan for your DR and how you will plan for your business uh, continuity and disaster recovery in case if you want to perform some DR drills, what are the things that you need to consider that on a uh, on a practical way that we will see here. Then we will talk about past databases. Okay, we don't really spend time on IAS databases on how to create a VM and how to install a database and stuff that we don't cover off. Okay, so that's a part of a regular database administration. Now, when it comes to past database administration, irrespective of whether you are DB or not, uh, the deployment and the basic administration fall under Azure administration role, right? So that uh, we will consider and we will try to cover off here, right? And then we'll spend some time on the past applications. So, or I would say serverless applications, okay? How you can deploy and manage your Azure app services, function apps and logic app and other stuff that we will discuss here. And we'll spend some time in Active Directory and then that has been renamed, right? So we, this year it is renamed to Entra ID. So we'll spend some time on Azure Entra ID and tenants and users, groups and security applications and two-factor authentication, all the stuff. And also integrate with your on-premise traditional Active Directory stuff we will cover off here then we'll jump into the containerization or microservices world where we talk about a docker overview and then uh, azure kubernetes services how you can uh, deploy or manage the microservice applications within the aks and then in terms of day-to-day -day operations what are the things that you'll perform that we will focus here and we'll move on to the more Day-to-day -day 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 operations management and automation and other stuff. When it comes to day-to-day -day -day automation management and automation, so Azure uh, automation accounts, I think uh, those are going to be deprecated soon. But uh, well, as long as we have the automation account and you want to run some partial scripts and all that, we will see. Then run books and desired state configurations. Then how you can configure the uh, CLI and then partial and resource graph scripts using the runbooks, okay, that we will try to see. So in terms of data operation, how we will optimize in a way using some sort of a CLI that we will focus here, okay? Then we will move on to data -day operation, troubleshooting, reporting, and uh, the data gathering, I would say. 
right? So various services, what are the various services that you'll use? You'll use the login to your workspace, Azure Monitor, AMA agents, and then you'll use cluster queries, okay? You'll, you'll use the dashboards and stuff to uh, take a overall picture of your current Azure estate and then how you will perform your monitoring and reporting in Azure using these components that we will see. Okay? Then we'll jump into some solution designing and high availability and uh, testing. So uh, from here onwards, what we will do, we'll take a couple of high availability uh, solution scenarios where we're going to test the high availability in Azure along with the Terraform automation. Okay? I want to deploy the Azure infrastructure using Terraform, not using UI or CLI or anything. So how you can develop the Terraform code and design the high available solution and deploy using the Terraform and manage that. We will focus here on session or uh, topic 14, 15 and 16 as well as 17, 18 up to 18. Yeah, so these are the five sessions, especially we focus on high availability where you have a load balancer, application gateway, front door, traffic manager, Azure uh, DNS okay, or DNS zones. Okay, These are the various services that we will use and uh, deploy the solution using Terraform. Okay, So all these are fall under your high availability providers. So that we're going to focus here. Then we will jump on to the auto scaling in AWS similar to Auto scaling, we have a virtual machine scale sets. So the concept is same. The technical terminology is a little different here. So how we can use the virtual machine scale sets uh, for your scalable or uh, or your uh, auto scaling solutions within the Azure, that is something we will test here. Then we will talk about migration projects. If a customer is having an on-premise environment or on-premise data center, he want to migrate some of the data or server or service or database and application or modernization of your existing apps and stuff, how you can bring them into Azure. That is something we will focus here. And then we'll talk about obviously the billing, right? So how, how you can uh, optimize the billing. Okay, let's say in the on-premise you're spending of, uh, for a specific server $3,000 per month. Now, when it comes to cloud, I want to reduce the cost. Let's say I want to reduce the 30%, which is roughly around $1,900, right? So or maybe $2,100 if you uh, reduce by 30%. Now, how you can reduce it, okay? So what all the things that you will consider while working on optimizing your bills and stuff, that we will see. Okay, then your management and governance. So you have the Azure environment up and running and from when it comes to security audit and then your standard uh, standards of your security posture and you need to follow certain uh, standards, right? So how you can apply those standards using policies and using your security benchmark tools and using the well-known architecture frameworks okay and especially uh, ongoing uh, environment or ongoing uh, project environment security how you will provide the or how you will perform the apm or how you'll uh manage the sims and stuff using sentinel that we will try to see and we will not implement the sentinel end to end and then do the security training sort of thing but at least as an administrator that is also your day-to-day -day operation duty right so that we will try to cover off here then as i mentioned infrastructure as a service terraform and other stuff that we will use along with the session 14 to 18 so this is more of the same so arm templates and then your uh PowerShells and then your Terraform and then Packer. These are automation tools that we will use in your day to day, right? So that we will spend some time over here. Then we'll talk about Azure DevOps, uh, how you will manage or streamline your deployments using the Azure DevOps and stuff that we will see in the second automation topic. Okay. Then finally, we'll see the kind of um, day to day operations, kind of uh, interview preparation how the project looks like, what all the things that you will perform if you are working as an Azure administrator or an Azure DevOps engineer, that we will focus here at the end. So all, all the modules I have put together to give you a, a complete uh, administrator, uh, I would say a real-time exposure 
right? So uh, this whole program will require at least 60 hours to cover off. That will be a one and a half hour session every day, roughly around 40 sessions I need to cover off the whole program. So the batch is going to start from 16th of September, morning 6.30 IST to 8 o'clock. So it's going to be Monday to Saturday and uh, it'll take roughly one and a half month to cover up. So I really apologize for the uh, one or two batches that are delayed in the previous due to some uh, other commitments and other, some other uh, stuff going on on my personal side. But yeah, now we will try to focus and uh, we'll try to be on the uh, schedules and try to cover off within the one and a half month. Okay, so thank you and uh, I'll see you on the demo day. So in order to attend the free demos, you can go to my homepage. You can simply click on this link that will take you to the uh, WebEx URL and you can simply join the free sessions for our initial three days and then you can take a decision. And if at all, if you have a question, just register and share your details. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, and uh, thank you and I'll see you on the demo day. Thank you guys and good day.